Hello everybody, what's in the whole universe? I hope everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experience. And today we're gonna talk about the topic What are the animals you can write a book about? Wow, interesting! And for me it will be interesting too because uh, I'm, as I said before, Russian and I don't know English names of animals so much. I know wolves, I know foxes, bears, also sharks. Birds, some um, birds, yes, cockroaches, spiders, snakes, and I think they are insects more than animals. So do you call them animals too? Or how do you call them? Because we have kind of mammals, yes, and uh, mammals and birds, it is two different categories. And here's the animals, yes, animals, and they could be the, the birds, the insects, the mammals and others, yes? Am I right or wrong? Re uh, re right in the comment section below please and what are the books you can write about them you can write uh, at least i started it i started to write about the animals who play different instruments for example b plays like a cello on his uh, sting like dun 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 also we can play, we can i imagine that it is a giraffe here yes a giraffe is here and uh, this giraffe is playing by his mouth he uses his mouth to to kind of catch the specific strings of a harp yes uh, he is a harp player also we have orchestration and the leader of the orchest orchestration it is a possum yes and he kind of does some directing conducting here is and uh, it is show our orchestra is here they are inside of the theater of <laughs> wooden theater wow nice and uh, also we can imagine that uh, there are sharks uh, and uh, whales whales are doing sounds and uh, sharks they are clapping by their by their how, what's what's the thing behind him like his part near the buttocks uh, this i forgot what's the name of it let me know in the comment section below if you remember in russia we call it хвост and in your ah tail tail but i think that i think that uh, Sharks, they don't have a tail, it is named another way, I think so. Also, what can we write about? We can write uh, how did they found the instruments, how did the... the well, for example, we, they can find an instrument, I imagine the mountain, and on top of the mountain it is flatten, flattened position. I imagine that it is kind of the specific dimensional, yes, dimension. And uh, here is the dimension or plateau of uh, of ground, rocks, and here is the, like, not this way of uh, position. I mean, fully horizontal, horizontal-like, almost. And I imagine the mountain that has top of the horizontal. It is like a cone, but with top kind of cut it. Okay, I imagined. And on this top you have a piano and some, some really heroes, they are going up on this mountain and it's a successful story. I imagine the person, for example, it will be a fox, he always wanted to play piano and he didn't know how to do this and uh, he knew. All the legends said that on the top of the mountain we have a piano. And he started to climb on a piano and then he went to this and it is his success story. And then he started to play piano. He played it for all the area, or areal of this bio biosphere. And uh, it was a story of his success of playing piano. And uh, it is musical thing. And uh, maybe some <laughs> foxes on the ground, not on the mountain. They, they started to dance by this piano and it was kind of wild and uh, they they were nice and uh, it is good story and uh, we can imagine also that uh, some of the bassoon or maybe contra bassoon inside of the <laughs> inside of the specific hole yes hole in the ground they lift a hobbit and uh, but in the hole in the ground they lift a mouse and mice and uh, there there were there was a bassoon inside of it and it is artifact i imagine that it is a book about artifacts i write it right now like uh, artifacts of uh, <laughs> i write it in generation it is uh, artifacts of artifacts it is correct word like in Russia we call it artifact it is uh, like obelisk one moment or something artifact do you call it this name artifact yes 
предмет материальной культуры in Russian, in Russian version. It is specific like a holy graal, we can say it, and one secret artifact on the hole in the ground where mice one more on the top of the mountain one more on a tree one more on a sea and we have seven like different uh, instruments and they are on different parts of the world and i imagine it we can by the way use it not only seven we can use uh, 20 or maybe three like uh, main three it will be one underground one more will be on the mountain and one more in the water in water and so we can imagine also the volcano and on the volcano we can find a drums percussion like I imagine and uh, you need to be armadillo to go to this and uh, it is secret power of a uh, animal who can jump there and to find this instrument musical instrument and it is like a storytelling saga series of the specific uh, <laughs> of the you, you know what what I'm speaking about uh, it is like a different forms and it is a children book i think so that i write it is like for people too for all the older too but they i i understand that people prefer to no because this topic is so friendly friendly like family friendly and so when you are going to the journey and you find this and find that and also you went to this place it is family friendly and when it is family friendly it is children books mostly because nobody but uh, no, not uh, uh, people like to read it, but you understand that it is not a crime novel, it is not a horror novel, it is not a something like detective. But detective kind of it is inside of it we have because some some person said that it is written on an oak, old oak, and I imagine oak, yes, and on the oak we have the specific like a grave, grave in a mini of not a graveyard. I mean that it was engraved by a tool for example it is the wooden place yes wooden wooden uh, wooden placement and uh, we have the specific uh, kind of when you use a tool by by your hand for example i imagine something cuttable or maybe it will it will be your uh, founds i think so no it is a uh, cocktail what's the name close you can use uh, santa close and uh, it will be here and uh, you can do the specific actions on a on a tree or a specific wooden wood yes and uh, then it will be kind of storytelling you need to go there and this kind of hint for them to find a, an artifact it is a map that could open to them i imagine that uh, you are kind of detective and you are looking aha uh -huh, here is one evidence and go there go there okay and uh, good it is uh, what we can write about and right now i will try to say all the names of the of the animals in english bumblebee yes also we have uh, otter otter it is on a uh, on water yes we have it otter what's the how to translate it in russian i think it's babur otter one and otter vidra ah it is vidra okay also we have ferret a ferret and uh, some memories from my life about ferret. When I played World of Warcraft, one person had a ferret. My guild, not a guild, a guild D, and uh, gu my guild member has a ferret. And I have a story about a ferret, by the way. It is barista plus ferret and uh, one more homeless person. It is uh, the story about them. And uh, also my guild my guild member has a ferret and he was showing pictures of of him i don't remember he showed it or i googled it i think that i googled it uh, i found him on a russian facebook vkontakte and uh, then i found him and started to look at pictures wow he has a nice ferret and uh, it has a uh, like strong strong memory inside of my my brain my box of secrets and uh, <laughs> nice nice metaphorical thing and uh, okay good and uh, we have uh, bumblebee yes also we have uh, quacks uh, who are quacking it is ducks yes also dogs and also we have uh, the cats yes and uh, the hamster hamster i think that yes hamster hamster it is the small creature inside of your house and it is inside of the 
cage, I think so, yes, inside with the cage. Rabbits also have different types of peacocks, also cockerel, and uh, what's di the difference between cock and cockerel? Let me know. And I understand that some words from it, it could be kind of offensive, but uh, you can call it a cockerel as a cock too, and it's uh, interesting. And uh, also whales uh, and... Uh, What's names? Uh, what's name? Emo? Emo? Do you have it? Uh, for it is emo. It is the specific, not emo like I uh, who emo like we have the subcultural emos. Emo like a specific person. One moment. It is the I forget what's name of it in Russian. By the way, it is the. Okay, let's let's look at pictures. I found pictures of them, of uh, different uh, different creatures. Squirrel. I know squirrel. In Russian, it is Bielka, and uh, we have it. And they are jumpy. And I remember my old. Oh, by the way, mammals. Yes, and in my memory, I have the. I have the memory about them that they are jumping in Petergof. It is the Saint Petersburg, and Petergof it is a park in Saint Petersburg. Also have a dog. Yes, doggy. Good chimpanzee. We know it is our like ancestors. We can say it and gorillas too. Ox. What's the difference between cow and ox? Ox. I think that it is uh, the male, but ox maybe it is one more because uh, in Russia we call them mole. It is the how we call them lion, lef in Russian language, panda, panda, yes, okay, walrus. It is morsh, otter, vidra, mouse, mishka, kangaroo, kangaroo. It is kangaroo in Russian version. Co goat. Yes, it will be Russian, a Russian translation for you. Maybe it's interesting because you are a foreigner and for you it is new facts. Goat, kaza, horse, lošet, monkey, abiziana. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Abiziana? Yes, it is a monkey. Cow, Karova. Kala, Kala. Mole. It, it is the crot. And uh, elephant. Yes, elephants. They are amazing. Leopard. Good leopard in Russian version. Hippotamus. Hippotam. And uh, or bigimot. We call them bigimot. By the way, not hippotamus. Hippotamus. It is something like. In my imagination, it is not real creature. Because uh, we, in my childhood, at least I have a memory that someone says to me that he, Gipopotam, it is something like uh, not real, not real creature. But Bigimot, it is a real. And uh, maybe it's true, maybe not. Need to check these facts. Uh, need to Google it in Russian language. One moment. Uh, I will switch right now. One moment. Gipopotam. And uh, it is... Yes, we call we can call them. We can call them. Someone from my childhood was tricking me. <laughs> or I tricked myself. I created in my own. Or I don't know really. Really, we have it in Russian language. Gippatam. Yes. Abaknavena Bikimot. Gippatam. Hippatamus amphibius. Yes, we have it. Okay. Giraffe. Nice. Uh, it is giraffe in Russian in Russian version. Fox, yes, Lisa. Hedgehog, Yosh. Ship. Avca, deer, it is alien, it is a deer, it is short-necked giraffe, we can say it, and short <laughs> short legs to peak, a peak, okay, raccoon, mouse, hedgehog, we know them, crow, oh, right now will be the interesting topic, because I don't know what's name of the birds, and sometimes I don't know even in Russian what are they. Woodpecker, I know, it is the person who does kind of knocking on on a on a tree. Owl, I know, it is from the Harry Potter. Swan, it is, we know, it is a popular book. We have Black Swan and also the story. In Russian, we have the story about the duck who became swan. And it is about the, maybe it is not an, uh, Russian actually, maybe it is Anderson fairy tales or maybe it is tales of uh, br green bro brothers maybe it is the story about the duck who always thought that he's not real he doesn't belong to this society he looks different from other ducks and actually he's a swan 
and that is interesting and super motivating storytelling right now a story i want to say that i feel it even now that so- sometimes you think that you are not belonging to the society but actually you are belonging to another one and uh, it is motivating robin okay we don't have it in russia by the way maybe we have but i don't know really it is need to google it robin we have robin hood yes european robin what's the in russian language you call it one moment zarianka wow wow right now i know what they look like because in russia we don't use them use these words actually in common language and uh, if we we'll translate it it is kind of the early day day daytime and ka it means kind of the belonging to to the creatures who are belonging to the creatures it is morning morning creature we can translate it kind of and uh, penguin okay we know penguin in russian language too blackbird nice creative creative yes swallow swallow it is like a process of swallowing something mom's spaghetti for example ostrich ah it is what i meant ostrich when i said ammo i said ostrich one moment i will google it mm ammo ammo do we have it what's the difference between an emo and ostrich ah it is different one ammo doma drama dramaeus nova echola di okay so maybe i said incorrect is the second largest living bird by height after its rative relative the ostrich ammo okay seagull we have them and we have them a lot in uh, in saint petersburg a lot because uh, it is the river town in moscow i didn't see actually i didn't find them we have a lot of uh, pigeons and not them flamingo good 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 nice from the if you watched the aladdin aladdin and uh, on aladdin you have the this bird who became a flamingo he was tricking the the whole the whole kingdom by this i mean that he was kind of camouflaging himself himself parrot we know parrots they are speaking and sometimes uh, peep, we can use as a metaphor when you're parroting sound words raven we know it is the kind of semestry semestry bird but actually not we can use it in a semestry if we want to write a book about semestry it's kind of the symbolic to them but actually they are nice and good birds yes bald eagle looks really like nice creature and good and elegant and the symbol of america hawk hawk it is ah by the way what's the difference between in russian language hawk it is it is yastrip but eagle it is ariel okay turkey Toki. what's the name of it in russian by the way need to translate it is uh, the indeed ha 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 it is translation to the turkey okay induk indushka okay yes we we have them and uh, we use them by the way turkey Toki, turkey i don't know how to say it correct turkey we use them in a in a yard in a yard or in a farm if you live in the forest or maybe you have a, your village countryside or something pigeon yes we have them Golub, we call we call them stork stork tsapla in russian language i didn't know by the way that they are called stork new word for me stork storking storking it means that you are going to the sw- swamp i don't know what's the name of it uh, balota swamp is it correct one swamp yes swamp it is the swamp marsh bog quag quagmir morris backwater balota in russian version okay they are kind of storky on a swamp and a goose yes person who did quacking like quack quack and uh, he does more high pitched than a duck i think so gooses geese yes geese it is the plural form of them sparrows like a jack sparrow we have a lot of them by the way and my 2015 if i will 
go back to my 2015, then I can tell you that there were a lot of sparrows. We were sitting with my my classmate, we can say it. I mean, classmate in university, university mate girl, and uh, she she was nice, and we were eating kind of sausages and uh, the. Hot, hot dogs we can call it i call it hot dog but actually i ate the bread plus sausages i bought uh, two different uh, and i used like a, uh, imagine that it is a bread like a ba baguette i don't know what's the name of it french bread french bread and i did kind of ripped it and then placed the <laughs> the sausage and then i ate it and uh, then some portions of the small fractals all the small particles from the from the bread i started to drop to the to the sparrows it is the what i remember and there we are a battle between the sparrow sparrows and pigeons because appeared pigeons and pigeons said that sparrows don't eat our food and it was really a battle and uh, pigeons won because they are bigger but i think that they are not super smart you only look look sparrow more smart he look he really looks like smart and uh, pigeon he has a h h huge body it's like dinosaurs we can call it they have a really small head for proportion of their body maybe they have small <laughs> brains but i actually not i don't think so but maybe maybe we can guess it if we will if we will do theories and hypothesis hypothesis that uh, the proportional size of your head it is it shows your kind of uh, intellectual ability okay dove we we have them too and uh, but we call call them golubi too golubi golubi but you call dove it is a white pigeon yes it is uh, the another another form of them actually they are almost the same but what's the difference they have the different types of feathers i think that feathers yes we you call it one moment Fe feathers yes feathers maybe feathers feathers, feathers pen he nip plume blade style okay plumage feathering feather coverts coat coverts coat dress good peacock and crow good 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 peacock we have pavlin it is the most beautiful one and crow it is I think that we've seen him already. Crow and Raven, they are kind of, as I said before, it is dark one. Why do we call them dark? Because they are dark color and people are scared of uh, black color sometimes, not every time. But uh, sometimes they are kind of, oh Jesus, dark from the darkness. And uh, that's why they are associated with something like cemetery. And uh, we know it. But actually they are good birds. Next, camel, owl, tiger, it's what the name, wild animal list, camel, yes, verblut in Russian version, bear, we know, tiger, no, blue whale, good, also, arctic wolf, I, I know, it is f from the chronicles of Narnia, crocodile, crocodile, or alligator, we call them, or alligator, alligator, dolphin, delfin, yes, the smartest, as people know, Elephant, it is the huge snake, yes, good, gorilla, bat, yes, nice creatures, and why am I, why are they kind of scary maybe for people, because they are living under, like, upside down, upside down, and they are scared because of it, and they have the really shrieking voice, and really piercing, and really, like, high-pitched, and it is scary from for people, because uh, they think that it is kind of really, really like this. It's uh, high pitched in the meaning of not. It is so piercing, piercing and kind of like a bomb, bomb of uh, high pitched notes. And people not super appreciate high pitched notes. They prefer like high pitched but flowy. It is like bird singing. They like it. But bats they are actually with a huge amount of overtones maybe the overtones of them non super harmonical i don't know okay hair but uh, it will be interesting to know about them more hair 
Okay, Zayats in Russian version Toad. Oh, to Frozen Toad. It is the book, and so this book was gifted to me by Jackie. Thank you to her. It is our viewer. Frog Deer. Okay, we named them. Ba Badger. Oh, it is the. I think it is uh, the Barsuk. One moment. Yes, exactly. Badger. 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 Okay, lizard, mole. Lizards we know. I know, I mean. <laughs> Reindeer. Good, 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 good. Amazing. Nice looking. M rabbit we know too. And by the way, it looks like my children when I had. When I was a child. And then I was. Uh, when I was young, super young. I'm young right now too. I mean that. Uh, I was a child in the age of five to seven. Then I had a rabbit, a rabbit, I mean teddy rabbit. We call it teddy, teddy bear, teddy rabbit. I mean toy, toy rabbit. Monkey, crocodile, antelope. Good antelope we have. The two antelope. I mean that uh, we don't have them in Russia. Maybe yes, we have, but something like a Caucasian place, we have them. South, south place. I think that they are living kind of in Africa more and more in uh, Australia. And uh, this type of, what's the name of it in your country? In uh, Russian we call it Stepi. It is the step. Step. Step, okay, good. And uh, also we have the sharks, jellyfish, okay. I mean that uh, in on these pictures. Starfish, octopus, crab, zebra, woodpecker. Woodpecker, crab, octopus, okay, I know them all, jellyfish, no too, and good, good, we know them. And uh, what are the, what I didn't know fully, otter, for me it is kind of new, I knew this today, and uh, I knew how it is written, and I actually read a book, read books about them, but I didn't know that he called this way ox, too, kind of new for me. And uh, what's more, what's more, reindeer, I know, I know, I know, chimpanzee, mole, no, 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 camel, elk, elk, uh, too kind of new, not fully, but actually, yes, okay, and here is the birds, birds, some, some of them are new for me, it will be the blackbird, blackbird new for me, because I don't know this bird, actually, and uh, in Russia we, I don't know, have or not, I didn't see them, and also Robin, we don't have them, Zarianka, and also Stork was a new word for me, and other words were not new, and about the book that I was speaking, actually right now I write about the, the animals who are seeking for the specific I mean, seeking S E E, and who are f trying to find, who are trying to find specific artifacts, obelisks, and uh, then by by, I mean, artifacts, musical instruments, holy grails of music instruments. They are trying to find them, and I write about it, and I think it is it will be a nice story. And then they found it and started to learn new skills, and it could be kind of the continue of a series of our book that will be about uh, series like they found them it was a kind of story how to go to our goals and motivating story also it could be a story about the friendship that during this time they were together and uh, some if you need to go to the upper side of a mountain they need to be kind of agile and uh, have you need to have a huge agility and if you want to go up up say like d down the down the hall then you need to be really like small and uh, something like this and if you need to go to the forest you need to be a flying creature and if you want to go to the swimming place you need to swim and it is a friendship between them because everybody has their own abilities and this uh, kind of opening line to the people for example who are reading it they can say that uh, wow it is really motivating because everybody has their own strengths in these situations and uh, you need to need to rely rely correct word or not you need to 
rely. Oh yes, rely to your strengths, lean on them, and uh, kind of bet on them, okay? And I think that uh, it is a story about it, relying on your strength too, and helping to each other. And also then they found the instruments and they started to learn them. And uh, when I st they started to learn them, then it is storytelling about more like non-fiction book. It is could it could be like a student book for for children who are learning the musical instruments and they can use in this form so good 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 amazing and uh, actually story will be nice too so thank you a lot for watching this video let me know in the comment section below what do you think about it let me know in the comment section also the names of maybe animals that you know and maybe some rare <laughs> rare animals in your area maybe you have some in texas or maybe in oregon or uk or maybe in india you have and uh, maybe in indonesia too because indonesia has specific like dragons dragons animals i mean one moment i will try to open it dragon animal i will open right now and uh, i don't see them actually but uh, Yes, 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 yes. They should have it. Dragon animal. They have them. This one. One moment. It is here. I don't know how how to show it. They they look almost the same. It's like lizards. Mhm. Mm good, 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 good. So, thank you a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comment section below. Have a nice day.